to our Garda representatives who have come from all over the country, thank you for travelling to Dublin this morning to call on the government to honour their commitment to Gardaí and the Haddington Road Agreement. When we entered into the Haddington Road Agreement in June 2013, we never imagined that we would be put into this position. We never thought that the government would fail to fulfil their end of the agreement that we made together. The Garda Representative Association has over 10,000 members. We have worked hard to fulfil the obligations of the Haddington Road Agreement. We've had to put up with the pay cuts that were imposed upon us. We had to work an extra three days every year without payment. We've seen our numbers decrease and we've seen our workload increase significantly. We've changed our rosters in order to provide more Gardaí uh, and cover at peak times, even though we are having reducing numbers. Our members have done everything that was asked of them, but the government have failed to, to fulfil the commitments that they've made. The Haddington Road Agreement <coughs> allowed for a review of Garda paying conditions, which was to be completed no later than June 2014. Two years later, this review still remains outstanding, and we have today to call on the government to finalise it without further delay. We will not enter negotiations about the Lansdowne Road Agreement until the review on the Haddington Road has been completed. Furthermore, the Financial Emergency Measures in Public Interest, the FEMPI Act, uh, organisations who have not signed up to Lansdowne Road will be subject to a pay freeze. And from tomorrow, this pay freeze will affect 63% of our members. That's 6,500 people who will be impacted. In particular, this pay freeze will hit our newest recruits hardest. They have seen they have already been subject of the arbitrary abolition of their rent allowance, meaning they are paid 23,000 a year, and that's just about over the minimum wage. For this, they have been kicked at, spat at, punched, threatened and abused, and this is all in the course of a day's work. Now that the government are denying them their increments, meaning that they will be stuck in this salary for another two years. This is a totally unfair situation, and it reflects badly on the government that they are now punishing the new recruits of Angarda Siakana, and for the government, own failure to fulfil the terms of the Haddington Road Agreement, an agreement that they made. We are now calling on the government to postpone tomorrow's imposition of the FEMPI legislation on Gardaí until they fulfil their obligations under the Haddington Road Agreement. The government has broken its promise that they've made to us. It's time for them to, top, to stop taking advantage of our members and to treat us with the respect we reserved and the respect we have earned. Thank you very much.